the most important thing is to keep the boat moving at all times just because once you're moving then you have the ability to steer if the boat isn't moving then you have no options at all so keep the boat moving if the wind is really light okay we're picking up a bit more breeze okay so tacking the boat when the wind's light we just need to be very smooth and very subtle so firstly we'll take the boat as close to the wind as possible just so the inside telltales start to lift on the jib and then as we sheet in the main hard push the stick away watch the jib when the jib backs then the main comes out we'll even pull the boom towards us a little bit to get it to come out more and then on the 16 we sometimes actually have to push the bottom batten of the jib to help it get round the mast there we go so the fundamentals of tacking firstly make sure we're sailing as close to the wind as possible we'll do this by having the jib in tight and sailing by watching the telltales next we want to have the main sheet in tight it's going to help the boat to get up into the wind and then once we've done that of course making sure there's nothing in our way we can push the stick away get ready to let the main sheet out as soon as the jib backs there it is jibs backed just pulling the boom a little bit in this light wind and we're just making sure that we are definitely through the wind before straightening up with the rudders again pushing the bottom batten to help all that go across and then once we're settled and moving forwards we'll pull the main sheet back in but not until we're moving forwards okay so we're going to go through another tack this time focusing on what I'm doing with my legs tucking the back leg under the front leg which is going to help us go on to the knees so here we go we are running out of space here so up we come towards the wind jibs backing letting the main sheet off pulling the boom towards to get it to come out more I'm just going to pop the battens get forwards bit of a sticky stick there pushing the jib across using the bottom batten to help it bring the jib back in and now we can bring the main in there as well so here's a bit of light wind trim single-handed just getting as far forwards as we can on the trampoline so that we still have good steering but we're not dragging the rudders and the boat is quite evenly placed in the water okay and we're just hobbling off downwind here so letting the traveler off in this light wind mega white light wind downwind sailing really want to have the sails just super loose by having the sails loose means we should be able to get a bit deeper downwind so sails loose and on the downwind in the light stuff weight really far forwards on the 16 so in fact I'm going to sit right up on the bow and that's going to help the sail hopefully to fill a little bit so we can get a bit deeper so I'm just watching these uh, telltales on the front of the boat keeping them flying straight across the boat 90 degrees if they come back a little bit 
means we can sail a little bit deeper downwind by pulling the stick towards us and if they go too far downwind we'll slow down too much so we will turn up towards the wind a little bit so if we were sailing two up at this time the crew would want to be pretty much directly opposite so we're getting the front of the boat as far down as possible even if we obviously I can't go this far forwards because I can't really reach the tiller extension but she's really tickling along nicely there for the amount of wind that we have so we're just trying to make any movements on the boat as small and subtle as possible if we have to go across the boat like when we're going to jibe just keeping the movements really small okay so we're going to go for a jibe So we're just going to basically steer the boat through the turn, which I know sounds pretty obvious, but rather than thinking of it as a manoeuvre, we're just going to think of it as turning the corner. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to stand up and like a ballerina, move to the back of the boat, creeping around as delicately as possible, putting the stick across the new side first, pulling the main over we might have to pop the battens there we go because the wind is so light and then getting the jib out on the new side and then once again getting forwards and steering the boat by watching these wind indicators on the front we're dragging a bit of rope in the water that is no good as the crew so it is an option for the crew in the light stuff to move around the boat in front of the mast. So I'm going to crew and helm simultaneously here. It's a good option for single handing downwind. And if we push the bottom batten like this, you can see it's putting a bit of curve into the sail which is increasing our boat speed on this downwind course or if you want to be a bit lazier we can just hold the clue of the jib out so if we're cruising just holding the jib out like this it's perfectly feasible so okay we're going to go for another jibe here how are we going to jibe from this position it's a bit of subtle stick management required so we we'll very gently come to the back stick round to the other side of the main sheet and guiding the main sheet across do we have to get the battens to go yes doesn't take much with these hobie 16 battens then i think we'll carry on doing this leeward side and style it seems quite effective single-handed I'm pretty quick I'd say we're probably doing a couple of knots here the winds just giving us a little puff to get going which is nice okay and we're gonna go for another jibe so like a ballerina to the middle of the boat stick onto the new side just checking where we're going and there we are we're through I don't think that the wind is going to give us what we need on this occasion. So then we'll go upwind again. So now we go take the jib in the cleat as normal. Main sheet just about an inch off the centre. Getting the rest of the jib sheet out of the water, very important. And sheeting in. We've got very little downhaul on, making sure that the mast will rotate. There we go. And the main sheet, we have to be careful not to pull it in too tight because it will stop, it will stall our airflow and the boat will start sailing a lot slower. Mm. 
so key points for light wind or light air sailing never have the sails in too tight always be gentle moving around the boat think mouse not elephant on the upwind keep the boat totally flat forwards and aft and then on the downwind be as far forwards as possible keep any steering smooth and subtle if you follow all those instructions you should be okay